Did you know that the Global Scout motto is biblical? Hey everyone and welcome back to Breakfast at Tracy's where we are looking at wise investments. These first two weeks have been about general money principles that God revealed to us in scripture. You might not know this, but at one time, I was a Boy Scout. Yep, the uniform, the knots, the tenting, the badges on the arms, the whole bit. I especially like to practice making fires. One thing we had to recite each meeting was the Scout motto used worldwide, be prepared. Our scripture today tells us to do the same. Paul wrote to the church in Rome these words, When God's people are in need, be ready to help them. Often when people have needs in the church, we are found to be quite unready. Unready to take the time, unready to stop and pray, unready to open our wallets, unready to drop what we are doing for their sake. Of course, while there are many ways to help people in need, I want to just think about the financial aspect. In our church, we have a pot of money called the Community Care Fund. It is managed by the staff who is under the direction of the board. Twice per year, we accept a special donation towards it, meaning that for two weeks every year, everything that is given in offerings goes out the door, in a way, to the Community Care Fund. This account is there to help us as a church to be ready. Ready to help someone if they have a sudden medical need or they can't pay their rent or their car needs repairs. We never drain this account even though we distribute from it regularly because we want to be ready. We don't want to be caught flat-footed when there is a need. We want to be able to help right away with no red tape, no overcomplicated application process, just immediate assistance. We want to be ready to help. But this is not just true of churches. It is true of the church, you. Paul is reminding each follower of Jesus to have some money set aside, ready to help. This is our privilege as followers of Jesus. I love the way English preacher John Wesley put it. He said we followers of Jesus are to have a certain outlook in life when it comes to money. He said, Work as hard as you can to make all the money you can and spend as little as you can in order to give away all that you can. Let me repeat that. Work as hard as you can to make all the money you can and spend as little as you can in order to give away all that you can. And being prepared to help, just like being generous in general, requires planning. In fact, it is those who plan who are the most generous. Unfortunately, many of us feel we are generous with just random giving, but studies show people who do not live by the motto, be prepared, are not nearly as generous as they think. As Pastor Andy Stanley said in his sermon series, Crazy Like Us, generosity is first of all premeditated, as in it is planned. Second, generosity is calculated an amount or percentage is already set. Finally, generosity is designated. You already know where it is going. Even if that money that is even if it is money that is just set aside in advance for compassionate purposes, a fund that makes you ready. When we have designated funds either as a church or as followers of Jesus meant for emergencies, then we are ready to help those in need, providing relief that shows great love and compassion. Let's pray. Our Father, help us to be ready to help, not just financially, but emotionally and spiritually. Help us to be willing without hesitation to help people when it is in our ability to do so. Thank you for providing us with enough to help others, and may you create in us generous hearts that are always ready to help. Amen. All right, your question for today, Breakfast Club, is how prepared are you to help those in need with no notice? Tomorrow, we are going to look at the lesson, Just Another Rule, and I hope to see you then. Take care, Breakfast Club. Mm -hmm.